you want to come up higher in the spirit you will need an encounter with the spirit of prayer and supplication please write it down this is one of the dimensions where the prayer ministry is irreplaceable if it is the next level and the next move of God there is no there is nothing you will do to replace the ministry of prayer Jeremiah chapter 33 and verse 3 please write it quickly call on to me and I will answer the revelation is an answer is a response I will answer you and I will show you great and mighty things that are not yet captured in your experience call on to me call on to me let me tell you something I've observed and I, I say this respectfully and I think it's a correction that the body of Christ needs to get there are few believers who pray for edification most believers have left the ministry of edification to prayer most of our prayer is either warfare or request there's nothing wrong with warfare there's nothing wrong with request but let me tell you the dimension of the growth dimension of prayer is for edification where you don't enter the place of prayer with a prayer request where less than five percent of your prayer is in english you are not just entering to harass god you are not just entering to say lord there are powers sitting on my destiny leave destiny the goal is edification and you feel the growth you feel the stretching from your spirit man very few believers pray for edification you can know it because you stand near them they are weak as weak as whatever they love god but their capacity is weak strength is discernible is why we fall off over everything you don't get this miracle you don't get that miracle you harass god all around but there is a level of strength and stability please hear me the next move of god will come on the wings of genuine prayer thank god for miracle service don't get me wrong there is a place of supplication and all of that and there is a place of intercession for others but can i tell you this those who were here many years ago in Zaria will tell you there were few times when many people today that are greatly used by God around there were few times where people took out time to actually pray for their own request believers who gather and just are praying no prayer point no prayer request is towards the end of the prayer they'll just say Lord just to let you know we have not eaten and we trust your grace for supplies just to let you know that we have this 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 issue but the average believer right now prays but our prayer does not bring the level of growth and stamina because that prayer is largely driven by lust the need for things so i can go to pray and spend six hours there correct well done but that six hours is almost five hours of harassing God. When will the power come, oh God? Is that prayer? That's inquiry. You've not started praying. There are few believers who can, who can pray if a request is not, if a prayer point is not raised. You want them to pray, you have to raise a prayer point say this then they say so oh, i now follow and, and pray it turn it into a prayer point but when you say let's pray they just stand and say so what should we do now and other people are praying and they are just watching but when so all right everybody stand up lord jesus lord jesus my life my life this and that this and that i'm not saying anything is wrong with that but have you learned the edification ministry of prayer the edification ministry to the point it used to be a big deal to be filled with the holy ghost if you were not filled with the holy ghost it was as if you were naked when believers gather by yourself you will find one brother and say sorry can you pray for me 
it used to be a project but right now there are believers who can be in a place for many years they know about being filled with the holy spirit and they don't argue it but they have not seen the need they just feel one day if it happens let me just be filled capacity capacity there are set there are certain levels of grace and anointing that is a waste to come to you it's like pouring a drum of water inside a cup it doesn't make any sense you need to expand please tell somebody expand 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 you don't expand by preaching you don't expand by going for ministration you don't expand just by by doing bible study for others you don't expand by conducting deliverance for others no you have to lock yourself lock yourself look at jesus the word of god filled with the holy spirit while others are sleeping they are the ones who need him he will get up in the morning and pray for hours it was a daily habit to the point that when it was time for him to go to the cross from the communion the upper room he branched Gethsemane and prayed there he spake a parable to the end prayer is an instrument that we can use to correct anomalies I agree but please hear me learn to get into the place of prayer without prayer points the prayer point is you the prayer point is you many of those things will be answered when you are answered the prayer point is you there are many many requests that are a revelation of weakness when you access strength with God you will check and not find the prayer points again and you are looking at time you are not praying you are praying you you pop tom tom you put it you are not praying five minutes you know let me tell you this god loves everybody but he rewards seriousness god rewards seriousness there are pastors who are like that every two minutes you are leaking something or swallowing something there are times that you go to pray my brothers and my sisters you don't know whether you are on earth or you are in heaven you don't know it's a realm there are many things about prayer when it's said most believers don't know because that is a progression in a realm that you must get to for that thing to make sense we must pray our weaknesses are becoming very glaring we must pray for capacity in fact most people never sought anointing it was a byproduct of some of these things they didn't even know that anointing was to be sought directly now all and sundry you see a lazy people around crying for Benny Hinn's grace in in the secret place five minutes Lord a, a double portion of what is on Benny Hinn let it, and God is trying to say no 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 I can give you just I don't want any he, who, you know if you are God you give good gifts to those who love you and God said this is not how it works have regard for Benny Hinn, not just God you want a double portion of his anointing and you are there five minutes snoring back five minutes snoring back no revive your prayer life revive your prayer life revive the edification dimension of your prayer life revive the edification dimension of your prayer life revive the edification dimension of your prayer life please hear me revive the edification dimension of your prayer life don't just pray needs don't just pray warfare pray to grow pray to grow that's how many of us entered the realms of visions it was not a conscious request 
you pray your way till you break the gates that closes this realm and the next realm prayer like a system of transport revive your prayer life say amen there are men of God who don't pray they are praying for me that's a deception is a deception from the pit of hell let me tell you this if you are a man of prayer and you are edified through prayer there is a signature that that the strength and the health of your spirit man is written upon you are we together now your communication and everything shows that there is a track record of prayer you can stand on stage and mumble tongues and people look and the, the scarceness you know that this one is just is just it's not just the huskiness of your voice there is a it, it, the deep calls on to deep people know that this one mm -mm, you have you have is like creating a hole there is a a position your leg can stand in prayer when you find a widespread congregation not praying it's because the leaders don't pray you only transfer to people out of the abundance of the grace that is on you please learn to pray don't pray when you have a meeting this is what people do when they have conferences they now organize imaginary um, um, five or seven days prayer i'm not saying there's anything wrong with that but if you have to wait for a program to pray you will never be powerful in this world everybody say prayer i'll find a place to stop so that we can continue a man of god said something that blessed me i think it was dr paul and I heard something that he said I, I scrabbled it somewhere and it it blessed me I said boy I was going to share this I can I can I can't find it again but I think he was talking around the fact that it was it was something about prayer how that when prayer changes you then everything that belonged to the old you will have to go with the old you because you are now changed are you seeing that now yes it's like changing an house. i don't need to carry the tree that was in my former house i didn't like it so i left the house the tree goes with it when you are changed many requests change too he spake a parable listen the church started on the wings of prayer and we must pray we must pray those listening to me please pray it doesn't matter what nation you are in pray you don't have to be the president of anything to pray right now this obsession about coordinator I'm the coordinator of a prayer group so I pray if you pray because you are a coordinator you are a hypocrite coordinate yourself behind a tree coordinate yourself behind a door and sit down and pray if there's no space in your house use your bathroom use your toilet lock up that place and pray stroll out in the night and pray you don't have to shout and harass the people there but pray if your bed is uncomfortable stand up from it stand up from it don't pray one leg is on the ground 20 or 40 percent of your body is on the bed and you are praying god knows you are weak he doesn't leave you weak he gives you strength prove that you have received it by standing up don't have to have a bad dream then you wake up and say you don't know, I will show you that I'm a member of Koinonia Shaka, ta, 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 ta. No, no, no no make deposits of that prayer so that while you are sleeping the prayer is like you praying there are people who are praying even when they are not praying yeah? their prayer has created a prayer motion that even in their sleep prayer is going on their prayer has become a portal for angelic activities they don't have to pray for it to start call on to me call on to me call on to me zechariah chapter 12 
we'll stop here and pray we'll continue next week Zechariah chapter 12 and verse 10 come up here through prayer verse 10 Zechariah chapter 12 and verse 10 and it shall come to pass in that day said the Lord and I will pour upon the house of David the house of Koinonia and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and supplication and they shall look upon me whom they have pierced and they shall mourn for him as one mourned for this and that and that and that the spirit of grace and supplication is a spirit that comes upon you to pray if you pray only because you are in prayer band you are not a prayer warrior a prayer warrior is not somebody what is who is a warrior remove prayer a warrior box at length every day a warrior chef cooks every day whether there's an appointment or not a warrior lecturer teaches every day a prayer warrior prays every day if a prayer warrior prays only when there are people there so that they will hear your voice you are doing exactly what the scribes were doing the scribes and the pharisees were never called prayer warriors they were called hypocrites are we together we'll take 10 minutes or so to pray come up here new dimensions in the spirit hallelujah before we pray just cry in one minute lord thank you for what you have done at this level but baptize me with a fresh hunger a hunger that swallows up every achievement that has been wrought in God in my life. Thank you, oh God, for the people I have mentored. But a fresh hunger. Pray for a baptism of spiritual hunger. Culminating into passion. Not just passion for studying books. Not just passion for studying the Bible. Not just passion for going to church. Not just passion for serving in the house of God. Passion to pray. Not just praying and asking. Praying and growing. Praying and rising. Are you praying? Hunger, oh God. 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 Shake it, take it, take it, take it. Rakata branda skadabala kato. Hunger. Hunger. Challenge pride. Challenge the deceptiveness of fame. The deceptiveness of fame glory. Thank you Lord for these things you have done. But I cry for hunger. I cry for a test. To understand what you are saying next. To understand what you are doing next. Parado shalakata. Hallelujah. 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 In the next maybe five to ten minutes, I just want you to blast in tongues. You are not challenging any demon. You are not asking God to give you anything. No tea, no bread, no anointing, no ministry. You are praying for your edification. That your spirit man be built. Ela baranda skala balanas. Kerato sopa kota brekete neketo sana kata. Shaka branda kato skala kapo shariata sene kata. Rakata kata baraka to select. Empreto skede la shamba has kabamzeki. Shakabranda 
Enlarge your capacity in the spirit. Enlarge your vision in the spirit. Enlarge discernment in the spirit. Shanabash. Rakata barakata de prakatelech. Sham prato sekete la karanta skaparu seketa. Epros kemarato shelekato sebret. Shagane gane gane bosh ke prato skaparu sesiabakata. Empro na sadash kala bros gane bahashale makus. Though our outward man perish, yet the inner man is renewed. Eprakato Baruza ne kaposhka la pres, eprakato skele katoshka mahasha, ente no skele de shana marukata, shekate kate kate, shekata prakate lekate prakate lekate bosha lekata, emprakate te kata 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 prakate lekate prakate, shene koska banda baruza kate lekato, empo shene skana kata prakish, lekotita sekete, ente te kate bakata prakate. Kata lekatech, rase kata paru se lekete, embro te se se kete beke lekete lekete bara kata. Kabro zama kabo se lekatos kabaranta te lekata. Keredos 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 kebandos kalebata. Se kete 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 kete. Pray believers Pray and rise into untold dimensions Come up here Access to light Come up here Access to true power Come up here Access to untold dimensions Of the workings of the spirit The spirit of grace and supplication. Makata barandas kabarekus. The body, the flesh may be weak, but I tell you, the spirit is willing, willing to go to a higher dimension, willing to go to a higher face, willing to come up to a level where you will see the things that must happen. Pray young and old. Be a man of God. You don't have to be a woman of God. You don't have to be a deacon. You just need to be one hungry and passionate for another dimension. Higher than that which you have seen. Telena sana makaratos. Telebarusa zene kali adabarash. Parada katosa la kaprende kede parash. Don't be tired. Karatos kadabala katos shalets. For my spirit man, on behalf of the generation committed to me, on behalf of the the mistreated to me, lekatari kato sabre kato shenekata. Salamanakata, Salamanakata, Parakato Sezem, Emprakata Takate Balakatos, Sebros Kamahashanish, 
Do not be drunk with wine wherein is excess, but be ye filled with the Spirit, speaking to yourselves in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, making melody in your heart to the Lord. Adabarandas kabaratu shalakata pranegate Kratus kele baruta segete bash He speak a parable to the end that men ought always to pray Men ought always to pray The, the cure for spiritual laxity is prayer The cure for spiritual limitation is prayer The cure for timidity and weakness is prayer cure for weakness in ministry is prayer. The cure for spiritual weakness is prayer. The cure for aberrated dreams and visions, prayer. The cure for stale revelations, prayer. The cure for the absence of power, prayer. The cure for newness without freshness. Prayer. Shalabarakata. Makata braskata barakate. Shakata shakata shaseta. Ambrata barakata vata. Listen, listen, let me tell you something. Let me tell you why many worshippers don't receive songs because they don't pray. Many worshippers write songs, they wax album, but they don't pray. One of the proof of a healthy prayer life is the reception of spiritual songs let me tell you you don't have to be a musician there is a dimension of prayer that you get to you must receive melodies in the spirit you must you may forget it after the prayer but you will need it as a ladder to keep climbing I tell you why many there are stale songs in the church because many of them are composed composed by an appetite to generate revenue there are people who used to sleep with guitars and keyboards and they will lie down and play for hours 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 that's how to be a worshiper that's how to bring songs from heaven I tell you why many preachers are not fresh they quickly open their Bible and browse on YouTube and browse on the internet you prepare your sermon not by studying prayer creates the coordination on what to study if you sit down with a notebook and you just feel I know what to say oh I'm teaching about this no you carry your notebook you carry this when I go to bed, my Bible follows me. My books, I'm on one side, my Bible is there. My laptop is there. My phone is there. Everything that helps my spiritual life lies down on the bed with me. You don't prepare a message by going on YouTube. You prepare a message by going to the secret place. 
you pray and pray and you get to a point where your spirit man begins to zoom around a central thought that the spirit is speaking you see that and that's how series upon series will come out if you if you do ministry and preach just by looking for sermons per week you will not last one month you will not have anything to say again before the time of prayer you may not even know what to share in a conference what to share in this boy you just pray prayer is powerful prayer is powerful prayer is powerful we are going to pray just two minutes this is a request now you are going to say lord the grace and the stamina in the place of prayer baptize me afresh with it don't say i'm a woman no don't say i'm a man don't say i'm elderly don't say i'm a child don't say i'm a career person baptize me oh god the grace for prayer the interest for prayer the unbeatable advantage of a life that can be edified through prayer there is no limit for a man that can pray prayer is not everything but as far as the dimension of a man's rising to access new lands in the spirit no you must pray As a preacher, the grace to pray. As a businessman, the grace to pray. Hallelujah. Let me tell you this. Listen. Listen. Prayer is an amplifier of every virtue you have. Anything is amplified in prayer revelation plus prayer is higher revelation speed plus prayer is greater speed wisdom plus prayer is superior wisdom strength plus prayer is greater strength prayer amplifies everything don't stop at spiritual potentials they are there but fan them to flames the prophetic is there it will remain as a potential until prayer crushes everything and brings the wine out of it one of the ways you make your calling and your election choice by prayer pray parents teach your children to pray don't just teach your children to study teach them to pray little wonder the number one thing being fought in schools is prayer not yet study prayer let no day pass without you praying there is no reason for it don't do it as a ritual but please do it no matter how busy you are once it's six o'clock or seven or eight or nine your mind tells you breakfast once it's 12 or one or two or three your mind says lunch once is six or seven or eight your mind says dinner indoctrinate your spirit man to be that sensitive the moment is morning you know it's like a register you need to sign listen let me tell you when we started out we never went to bed till we prayed once it was evening seven o'clock eight most believers already knew it was time to pray it didn't matter what even if there was no corporate prayer our fun and social life 
was in a place of prayer once it's 6 30 7 7 38 you start seeing people one by one you will see a tiny lady with her socks and her rechargeable playing one song she's smuggling herself to one corner to go and pray later you'll see that girl come out there, there were people who did this non-stop for years they didn't know they were powerful till the day they told them can you share in a little fellowship as soon as they stood their fire you don't do ministry by appointment it was while they prayed and fasted that the holy ghost says separate separate separation comes in the place of prayer it was while they prayed and fasted the holy ghost says separate one week you've not prayed you are all right three days you've not prayed you are all right two days you've not prayed it's okay no problem you know how nigeria is i will, I will pray the other time it's an attack you must trust god for grace to pray like i said many of us it's not like we're not praying but our prayer is largely warfare and demand warfare and demand so we get to the secret place with different requests oh god do this oh god do this oh god do this we just water it down with tongues five ten minutes and we're done that may not be bad but you are not going to be mighty that way you want to come up here you must spend time and time means hours it may not be the same capacity every day but the goal is consistency consistency let me tell you this if you pray a whole day and the next time you pray again is three weeks you will not grow did you hear what i said if you pray 10 hours one day because of a program or seven days of seven days prayer and fasting then the next time you really take out time to pray is two weeks you do it like that you will not grow the key is the constant connection constantly father we thank night we thank you because you are guiding us into your program into the place of power oh how we need your power how we need your grace a demonstration of higher dimensions of you that can crush and crumble the pride of men lord we ask that you will grant us grace to rise beyond our complacencies grant us grace to rise to higher dimensions we thank you for what you have done in our lives they call us champions but we call ourselves students hungry students desirous of more of you lord i pray that everyone tonight will receive a baptism of the grace for hunger a baptism of the grace for prayer in the name of jesus for those of us who have had our prayer lives go down and out i pray tonight let the call of the spirit rest upon your prayer life and find it back to flames in the name of jesus we thank you in jesus name